after that we wash all the pot pack the remaining food inside bowl cover it up wash the pot clean it up wrap inside a lot beautiful life for you no no we look at this bag now you go things in now my hair now gold now thief now rich people go open and a pot to the season <laughs> and clothes and neck yeah so we put it nicely and we continue our journey when we're hungry we see someone eat the remaining food we get some shower time now put it inside we move when it's late we're not start looking for where to go and sleep and sometimes we go to some places they will tell us no way I've seen you people working from so so and so and you people work here, you people are not normal. I can't accommodate you. We'll go. And we'll go again and look, look before we know somebody that is very good that will give us food, accommodation. Sometimes I cheap, sometimes I palace. There's one king that accommodated us well. The king did not believe but he has driving license. So the driving license was save us in that particular village. When the Oba saw it, the king said, Well, you sleep with me in my territory. They ask family. for like you don't have any form so of So if you want to kill us, all of so us. So when he saw had the valid driver mm. license, that one alone consoled him. He said, "Why? You can sleep in my. He gave us a room in his palace to sleep, and we spend the night there." He was amazed the next morning, before four o'clock, we were ready, ready to move and continue our journey. <laughs> You know, some people, if you keep them there, they will stay there, enjoy the whole place. They are too comfortable. Yeah, so we left there and continue our journey to cross the road. Madam or Gago go bless you for now. There is no youth in this country that think the way you people think. Take this small thing and one by one, that is how they broke out of it and they all supported that the police inside that transport building there gave us 20,000 20, naira from their own pocket. We gather it and I left. I told them, tell the president that I've already come to pass my message because I'm going back to Ghana. <laughs> I left and I was going. I go back to Guagalada, Guagalada, enter uh, Okene, Okene, continue. Day by day, they walk out the street like that, they come. Reach Oshun, reach Ondo, back to Ibadan, reach Lagos. Went back to the beach. And from the beach, I stayed for like six months again, then we went to Ghana. So that's it. So we have actually, we took it once, but it's not officially. We just took it the way it is to, you know, to make the people and the government see that, well, we have this thing, it's nothing extraordinary, it's not official, it's no paper, it's nothing, it's just like that, it's your faith, it's your belief. Yeah, we take the well. risk. I take the risk. I put my life in the risk. I'll, 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 I'll definitely tell you that Abraham is a gimmick because they said Abraham to take his son for sacrifice. But did he take his wife? Me, I took my whole family. I take my whole family for sacrifice because I want to see if there is God or there is Allah, whatever you call it. Because uh, we are unlearning that it's not even God or Allah. Every day we unlearn. The whole essence of life is to unlearn what has been inserted into the mind of man. The limitations of the world. The boundaries of the world. You understand? That is why we exist. We, we go beyond all that and make it look ordinary. Because that is the way it's supposed to be. Freedom. You understand the the, the 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 mental slavery has gone to the next level that you know look at this country look at africa all our leaders have all the qualifications all the education phd phd but is there any improvement in the world is there food is there light with all the qualification the basic things that we need in life food and shelter and water they deny us from that they send us to school 
They take away our rights and tell us we have to work hard. What is working hard? Ask yourself, do we just come to this life to live, to build a house, to marry, have children and die and go just like that? It doesn't make any sense. If I'm to look at life from that perspective, there's no sense. Oh, I came, I marry one woman, one became builders, buy car. That makes me a successful person. I can die and go. Then the world has no meaning. There is no meaning to that. It is those kind of questions that we begin to ask. What, uh, what is going on? There is a neighbor of mine that was not feeling fine. She spent almost four million naira to feel fine, but she still died. So what is the hospital taking such money from? Why God delivered this child here without one naira? No antenatal, not even a scan or common pregnancy care. Over and over again. And you want to tell me that nature does not prevail? That nature is not God? That nature is not the way it's supposed to be? So these are the things that just you know, make us try, take the risk. Uh, so can you speak, what language can you speak? You must take what language. Only English. Okay. But you know how to speak Olo, she Baba Din Din Din. That's why she knows how to speak. She knows how to speak Olo. She knows how to speak Olo. She speak Olo. Baba Din Din Din. That's what she knows how to speak. Is that a song? Okay. That's what she knows how to speak Olo. Baba Din Din Din. Please help me ask her what language is that? Tu as 6 ans. Tu as 6 ans. 6 ans. Tu as 6 ans. J'ai 6 ans. J'ai 6 ans. Voilà. Voilà, passe. Si on te demande quel âge as-tu, j'ai 6 ans. Comment tu t'appelles Mon nom, c'est euh, Abad. Whatever. Ok. Daniela, comment tu t'appelles Daniela, Abad. Quel âge as-tu 4. <laughs> At all, there are times we have to catch up to the next town before the sun goes down. Because, because the zone yeah. that we are, we know that where the, the particular village we are in is not they are observing, and tigers observing and the people circle. You know, you are not in a friendly because place, so we have to look for other means. It's either we start walking rapidly to the next village or find a way to see. Sometimes we we'll walk 80 kilometers a day. 80. <laughs> How many did it take us to walk from Lagos to Abuja? Uh, is it? Are you walking on the highway? Yes, no, that's right. Why people know us now? It's not even a topic. But I'm from the South South Niger Delta, from Bayasa, which is from Ogun State. Now coming together and getting to have different kind of experience upon experience. Some people have experience. You can have. You can know somebody for 20, 30 years, maybe your brother, your father, your mom, but that person can go through a day's experience. And that person you think you know for 20 or 30 years, you don't know that person anymore. Because of it has that that individual has experienced something totally different that you don't have an idea about. If you look at it from the surface, from a social media point of view, oh, happy family, beautiful family, but the scars deep down inside is, it's not joy. What you are even hearing yourself is just the, 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 the seduced one. If we tell you there, as in we stay times with, there are days I stay for like six, seven months with one shirt, with one clothes. There are days I don't even have slippers to wear, I walk barefoot. Yes. There are days even my wife don't have slippers. We're traveling, we're stuck in the bush of maybe 70 kilometers to the next village. And your slippers caught or something. Are you going to be there waiting for 
somebody to come and save you, or you're just going to keep moving and see what goes on. Ah, we face many persecution. We go Bini, is it Bini? Bini city. Even my own state, Bayasa. Even in a, in a Biokuta, <laughs> Lagos, Elebushi, many places. We face all kinds of persecution, both spiritual and physical. There's no way I entered like this that my spirit is not a problem to the community. It was me, I'm like a cat in the night. I'm always walking, looking for something in the night, and I didn't catch anybody who to do anything in the gap. Inside this Okoli, so that's my number one problem. So, all that now, you know, gives me the chance to expand my reach within the people around. Do you understand? Have you read or come across the book, The Art of War? Yeah, Sun Tzu. Yeah, you see, they say a skilled warrior does not believe in flesh and blood. Do you understand? A skilled warrior believe in a very small army. It's only a foolish general that will carry a multitude of battalion and army because how are you going to feed them? How are you going to transport them? You are going to spend much. Do you understand? And all that is going to end up in bloodshed. People's fathers are going to be lost. Women are going to be raped. Then how are you a skilled general? You just went there to kill the people. You are an omen of death, that is Buhari. But the art of war is the general, the skilled general knows how to enter inside the military and make friends become enemy, and enemy become friends among themselves. That way, you war against the mindset that is controlling the people instead of just making them carry gun and do what they are supposed to do. I don't know if you understand. Mm -hmm. So, the smaller the army, the stronger and the most swift it is to operate. Do you understand? And the only way you can have an army that is that strong is on the pillars of righteousness and truth. Do you understand? That is the only way you can conquer any mankind or any race. All in the foundation of righteousness and truth. Not in any congregation or any religion. Just you and your creator. And you surely prevail.